Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. The NBA offseason is well underway as the draft and free agency are right around the corner. And just because of LeBron James opting out, the sports books around the globe and all in Vegas have taken away their NBA future odds right now. Waiting and see what Kings James and Carmelo Anthony do, whether or not they team up in Miami, go back to their respective teams, or go somewhere else potentially. All will uh, be revealed in due time. However, there's another team out west that could also be in due for a big future odds jump. So that's the team we're starting to preview today, and that's the Golden State Warriors. Now, as of the 15th of June, before LeBron opted out, the uh, Golden State Warriors were sitting at plus 3,000 to win the title this next season, at, with plus 1,500 to win the west. However, that could change dramatically depending on what happens out west and depending on if Kevin Love is in fact traded to the Golden State Warriors. The rumors have been floating around for weeks now, almost a month, that Kevin Love for David Lee, Clay Thompson, and Harrison Barnes has been the uh, has been the price that Flip Saunders has set, and really doesn't. I uh, don't think the uh, Warriors are willing to uh, part with Clay Thompson in a two for two trade. I think they'd much rather bringing a third team, possibly get a pick out of that deal as well, as well as Love or being able to not have to give up a pick in the in the price for Love as well as those three players. Time will only tell, but Flip Saunders is not really, I think, really keen on forcing this trade early and, and really rushing it and not getting the best possible deal back in return. I think I don't think he has much motivation to play this out and get it before the draft. I think he actually would like to play it out, possibly wait until the February deadline to try to get a better offer or get another team to start competing for love services. But the Wolves, I think, with David Lee, Clay Thompson, and Harrison Barnes, that's actually a pretty fair asking price for uh, the uh, services of Kevin Love. Problem is, I don't think the Golden State Warriors are going to want to pay that much. They're probably going to want to enlist a third team into this to try to at least shake it up and not have to send all of that talent directly to a Western Conference contenders. But they also have a couple other decisions they need to make that could affect their team next year. Two uh, guys that really played a key role down the stretch for them in the play and the playoffs as well, Steve Blake and Jermaine O'Neal, are unrestricted free agents. Both of them were on pretty cheap deals last year. It's probably going to take a little bit more money to sign them. and not sure if the Warriors are going to be able to afford them, depending on what happens in the love trade. Obviously, the D-Lease contract is very big, but Harrison Barnes and Klay Thompson aren't making that much money. Uh, Thompson being the one making a little bit more and Barnes obviously on the last year or two of his rookie deal but either way I don't think this trade happens before the deadline I think the Warriors are going to have to open the season like they did last year and possibly maneuver a little bit to try to get love on their side before the February trade deadline but even if that does happen or even if that doesn't happen by the by the time these new NBA odds open up I think the Warriors speculatively will definitely be a little bit better favored than the plus 3,000 you were getting before all this news started breaking that it was actually uh, close to happening but that'll do it for the Golden State Warriors. Make sure you check out my other NBA team previews this offseason as well as some of my offseason playoff predictions. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick.